My name is John Federman. I'm the mayor of Braddock, Pennsylvania. Braddock is a, uh, a small community in western Pennsylvania, about 10 miles outside of Pittsburgh. At one point uh, in time last century, Braddock was a thriving industrial town of about 20,000 residents. Today we're around 2,700. It happened over a period of decades, you know, starting in the late 60s and the 70s. You had deindustrialization, you had suburbanization, you had political mismanagement. A lot of factors contributed to uh, the state that Braddock eventually ended up in. I would say life here in Braddock um, is getting better, but it's not like the Braddock that I remember when I was a little girl. Braddock used to be thriving. Um, you could walk up and down the streets um, from 9 till 9 at night and the stores were open, uh, four sites, um, uh, the children's Jack and Jill's and Oingers and everything. For people who have never been here will probably look at Braddock as if it's just empty. Everybody's leaving Braddock and going elsewhere because that's where it is now. Everything kind of moved. But out in Braddock, there's peace. That's all there is really out here now. We're the poorest community in the region, and uh, we've faced a lot of struggles. Much of our tax base has gone with the population, unfortunately. The steel mill still operates in town, but most of those jobs, if not all of them, are held by people that work outside the community. So there's some small businesses here in town, but uh, we don't have any restaurants, for example. Uh, so there's not a lot of job creation in town necessarily. It's very hard because we don't really have any stores. We don't have any jobs in Braddock, so it's hard. We have to go out the city to find a job. I used to work at Braddock Hospital, did housekeeping there, and one day, one morning I went to work and they had sent letters to everybody saying that they were going to close the hospital now. And a lot of people were devastated because they had been there for years. A lot of people lost their jobs, so it was pretty hard on the community. The hospital's been in the community since 1906. Late 2009, they announced that it was closing, and it's in the process of being demolished. So it was a, a real source of civic pride. 600 people you know, worked here, about 80 of which were local here in Braddock. And most importantly, it was the source of all of our medical care and access for many people here in town. That being the closest hospital, it kind of affects me because, like, he recently had gotten sick, and thank God for... The mayor, because I don't have my own source of transportation, he gave me a ride to all the way out to Lawrenceville to Children's Hospital, whereas to if the hospital was still open, I could have just put him in a stroller and went over two blocks. If you kind of look at the yin and the yang of the past year, year and a half, I would say on the negative side, the hospital closure has been dramatic. Uh, but, you know, on the positive side, the, the Levi's partnership and, and the resources and the things that that's brought, uh, I think, helped to kind of counterbalance that. They contacted us uh, roughly almost identically the same time that the hospital was closing. And they uh, were like, would you consider, you know, kind of being the center of our marketing campaign? And... Uh, uh, in return for, for that, we uh, got some good support in town. I'd say well, well in the vicinity of one and a half million, possibly two million by the time it's all said and done. They fixed up our community center. We used all local people in the community. Uh, all the commercials were filmed here locally. So it was, a, it was a really nice infusion of resources for the community. But by no means, you know, there's an e you know, an equal balance there. The, the loss of the hospital has really been, been difficult for everybody. I just firmly believe that everybody in this country deserves to live in an improving jurisdiction. Braddock will never be what it was. Braddock will never be the thriving 20,000-plus population uh, community that it was. But that's uh, no means a reason or an excuse to, to stop trying or to, uh, you know, kind of give up hope.